So when we come out now, we're going to do our two laps and then two lines for laps. Got it? Here we go. Together on three. One, two, three. Together. Right, let's go. Here at UConn, we're doing what's expected. We're doing what everybody goes, well, of course you should be going to the final. Of course you should be playing in the national championship game. And we think that. The players that come here think that. And we have to coach them like that. And at the same time, it's totally unrealistic. But you have to get kids that can't thrive and succeed under that kind of glare and that kind of spotlight. The women's team is kind of like the team on campus, you know, not to sound cocky or anything like that, but it's cool. Just coming into this building and, you know, just looking at all of these banners and that was kind of like the first moment for me. I was like, wow, like, it's, it's real. It's a little intimidating sometimes, that 2015, 2016 era with Brianna Stewart, Morgan Tuck, Mariah Jefferson, seeing them win all four in a row, that was like, just, I don't know, it lit in my heart, and I just wanted to be here. Only a couple of dribbles to get to the three-point line, all right? Don't take boom, 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 boom. Push the boy out in front of you, a couple of dribbles, get to the three-point line, and throw. Last year was, I would say probably unlike any year that I've ever experienced. To be honest with you, there was a point in time where <clears throat> I didn't even think we'd be in the, in the NCAA tournament, the way things were going. This UConn team has shown incredible resilience all season long. We went through so much adversity last year that making it to the national championship game was a big accomplishment for us in that team, but at the same time, um, like this is UConn, that is kind of the standard, and we didn't play our best game that night. One on one with Nelson Adota, Boston, that's too easy. With two to shoot, Packers gets it off. Short, loose ball, Cook after it. Here comes South Carolina. Last season, I would describe it as very challenging. I don't think anybody's ever been a part of so many ups and downs during one season and just the amount of injuries that we had. Nobody believed in us, you know, people doubted us a lot that season and I feel like that's really made us stronger as an individuals and as a team, especially prepared us for this year. It was just another bump on the, in the road and I think it just really kind of helped us to stick together and, you know, just fight for us. It is not unfinished business any longer. South Carolina has captured its second national championship. What happened last year, that's unexplainable. How many things we had to deal with and, and how many uh, players missed games and, and the number of different lineups that we had to invent. I've never felt anything like it in my life in, in terms of what we had to overcome. Everything we had went through like that wasn't how it was supposed to end. And when I think about last year, that's not, not really the picture I want to remember. I think, you know, we can take a lot of good lessons out of it from last year that we can use for this year to, you know, have that chance to be in that position again and, you know, in the end win. Every practice and every game is going to be another step towards learning and finding out who we are. Mark Pans, now it's time to meet the 2022 2023 Utah Women's Basketball Our team this year is already way different than our team last year. Just the atmosphere here, our chemistry with each other is really different. And so I think it's kind of like within all of us to pitch in that little bit and everyone steps up. Every year the standard is always the same, like the highest possible, you know, and everybody has to live up to that standard. And if you're not, you can't be here. Nothing's easy and it's, it's never going to be easy. So it's going to be a challenge. Even when you think it's going to be an easy game, they're coming at you their hardest because it's UConn. A lot of people hate on UConn, but I think that just gives us like the confidence that we need. 
Our goals this year, obviously, are to win the Big East, make it back to the Final Four, and win the National Championship, but I think we have a lot of work to do before that. There's a segment of people out there that maybe have given up on us, but we'll see. I'm confident in our players, and I trust them. And I think we're going to surprise a lot of people. But then again, is anything we do a surprise?